Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. In this video, I just want to show you basically the, kind of the difference in flight between one cell battery and a two cell battery on the Emacs Tiny Hawk S. I got this little micro quadcopter like a few weeks ago and I have just been loving this thing. It is so much fun. I think it's more fun than flying my five inch quadcopter around because it's just so less stressful. Like you don't have to worry as much about breaking it or crashing into stuff. And the, it's just it's just a great time. The flight times aren't as long. But anyway, I wanted to make this video because um, when I was, uh, I was flying around on the one cell battery for like quite a while, that was a lot of fun. And you, as you can see there, you can fly really slowly and it works great. It's just like, you know, kind of like more of a, a typical kind of uh, tiny whoop type of deal. And so we're flying around here on the one cell. You can see it, we're going pretty fast going downhill, but we have about 50% throttle in there. And the camera tilt you can see is, is, is pretty low. Now here I'm going to try and do kind of like a power loop and you can see you know it worked out okay but not really like an actual power loop and then there I kind of did a roll and just didn't either didn't ha uh, give it enough throttle to catch myself or just the battery was a little bit low at this point so you know you're pretty limited on one cell with the with the amount of power now here I'm going to switch over to two cell and be sure to change the the PID profile there I did that just in the uh, the OSD and I'm just getting kind of warmed up here you can tell a big difference when you're flying it because look at look at how much throttle I'm using I'm using like around 30 30 to 40 percent throttle uh, there on the on the left left hand of the screen and look at that that's way faster than how it was on the one cell now of course you know the lower to the ground you get the more you know blur effect there is it looks like you're going fast but here I do a pretty pretty decent power loop uh, by my standards anyway and I was able to catch myself really well, and it worked out pretty good. There's my brother there. He's uh, he's learning to fly drones as well, so he's been doing some line of sight flying. But my battery just totally uh, pooped out right there, so you got to watch out for that because it will just pretty much die without much warning. Now here I put the the one cell and two cell side by side, and you can see that the two cell started out behind the the one S, um, but it caught up, and I just played those clips, you know together so they're not identical clips but close enough so definitely faster a lot more power now we're going to switch over to the front yard flying around and i think you get the idea so i'm just going to let you enjoy uh watching this this th this is actually the first time i've flown around in the front yard uh, because i'm just not going to fly a five inch in the front yard in the area like this so that's what's so cool about the micros you can just fly them pretty much anywhere all right, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you on the next one. 